Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Check this view out. It is a lovely start to the day. This is at the Mackinac Bridge, getting some nice colors there on the horizon. We're seeing just a few of these little thin layered clouds out there over at the Mackinac Bridge. But the good news is we're starting off with clear skies and the smoke levels have improved as compared to yesterday uh, from those Canadian wildfires. So the pattern is shifting a little bit more so and a lot of those particulates have moved out and cleared out of the upper Great Lakes. Uh, so smoke levels at a medium level as compared to the heavy level that we had yesterday. Here's what's happening. High pressure in central areas of uh, Canada, high pressure into portions of uh, the Dakotas and into the northern plains. But our next system is is moving out of Minnesota or rather moving out of Montana and that's going to continue to move in here for Thursday. So over the next few days we'll start to see that take shape. However, it will not be bringing in widespread soaking rain, but you will dodge a few of those rain showers for the end of this work week. There's a frontal boundary that's passing across the lower peninsula this morning and that's going to continue to push east and southeast. However, along that frontal boundary, we could have a few more of those rain showers develop across portions of the lower peninsula this morning and along 75. The current air quality index for today is at a lower level, is at a good fair level for the UP and into northern Wisconsin, where this was at a moderate level yesterday. So improvements today. Uh, overall, not bad. Sunshine out there today with dry weather continuing in this dry stretch that we've had. Temperatures near Lake Superior today still a little bit below the normal. For a good chunk of the day, ranging in the upper 40s, reaching highs around 50 and into the 50s a little bit further inland away from the shoreline. Then the interior southern areas will be reaching upper 50s. If you're along the Wisconsin state line, though, it'll be a little bit warmer there and above the normal, ranging lower, potentially near mid 60s. We are supposed to be at 61 for this time of year. Our lows tonight still into the 30s tonight to tomorrow morning. So another crisp morning is uh, on the horizon for you for tomorrow as we'll continue with some clear skies. However, tomorrow, if you're in those interior areas and along the Wisconsin state line, you might want to ramp up your fan level a little bit more to moderate or high because it is going to be a little bit warmer in those areas with temperatures reaching into the 60s to near 70 degrees along the Wisconsin state line tomorrow afternoon. Near Lake Superior, warmer and still slightly below the normal, ranging upper 50s there for tomorrow afternoon. Here's your hour by hour today. Not a lot happening. Wind flow out of the north northeast light tomorrow. Some similar conditions and then the next system starts to bring in some showers and some thunder showers for Thursday with a couple more rounds Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as well as into early Monday morning. And throughout that stretch, I mentioned we're not expecting washout conditions or soaking rains. Rainfall amounts aren't super impressive at around half of an inch to maybe an inch in some isolated areas for the span of those several days. However, if you're going to be out and about, the umbrella might be handy because you'll be dodging some of those showers and storms for the end of the week. Still ahead. In